I will say this, um, two things. One, if they're from Scotland, snuts is, is a colloquialism. And I, you can, yeah, what you're thinking of is probably what it refers to. Um, secondly, I mean, that's definitely Scottish slang, snuts. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't know, but that's my... But, and secondly, if this is their first effort, I yeah, mean, you wouldn't have thought they would have had a lot of backing. So someone, somewhere, is a production genius. It's showtime, folks. Everybody and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is John, and that person over there is Andy. How you doing, Andy? I do well, sir. How are you? I am, for want of a better phrase, tip top once again, which is always nice when that comes around. Um, <laughs> I'd rather have you tip top and bit bottom. So I'm I'm glad you're in good spirits. Tip top is actually in this country. I don't know if it's in yours. Is also a sort of a replicant sort of double cream thing. You buy in tins and you pour over stuff, and it's sickly and pretty <laughs> disgusting. So yeah, so I'm sickly and disgusting today. Thank you very much for asking. <laughs> You're that kind of tip top. Okay, I got you. <laughs> so I gather you want to uh, assault my senses once more with a tune. I do. I do. Um, I've got a band that I've actually given to Greg recently, but it's been so recently, I don't know which episode's going to air first. So, uh, but this is a band called uh, The Snuts. Have you ever heard of The Snuts? No, but I feel like I should. That is a great name. <laughs> it is a good name. I don't know what the hell it means, but it's a good name. Um, yes. And the track, the track by them is called Elephants. Elephants. I mean... I'm straight away picturing an A4 poster photocopied in the sixth form college of the snuts playing tonight down the Hope and Anchor. You know, I, and I bet it's nothing like that at all, but you know, for, for the brief time before I listen to it, let me have my, <laughs> have my dream. Right. I, I, shall, I shall skedaddle and then redaddle. And <laughs> okay. See you when you're done daddling. <laughs> right. Okay. I have to say, the snuts is a great name for a band. Let's see what they've got. Yep. And I got my This, um, uh, I shouldn't really like this because this has got all the sort of modern little tricks to it. That is, have, I'm guessing this is in the last 10 years tops, probably more recent than that. Um, but it is infectious. Um, <laughs> that guitar riff is lovely. Um, and then with the uh, background vocals, but no, the way that it's constructed it is very clever and it makes it 
almost in the earworm straight away. So yeah, <laughs> don't think you got much choice in this. Um, I think I heard him say, I, I heard him say Rockefeller, but I think I heard him say Rickenbacker. If he did, then that's got two bonus points for me. Uh, let's see what else. I shouldn't I shouldn't have enjoyed that but I really did <laughs> yeah that was really good they've had the full bag of tricks there everything everything to make you like this and it worked it did it, it really worked back to Andy 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 <laughs> oh what do you got for me John so you know by now but, you know, one of the things I really dislike is overproduced, fairly modern music. Um, and this had all of that. I mean, it was so overproduced. Um, but I have to say, I started off like, oh, I mean, I don't think the microphone picked up me great in my teeth, but, um, you know, I wasn't overly impressed. But I have to say, it won me over. It's a complete earworm. Uh, I'm so disappointed in myself, more than anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's as catchy as hell. I mean, the elements are all there, and I imagine if you did it in a different way, I would love it even more. But they put all the little tricks in there. There's a lovely, great guitar riff in there. I mean... Again, you could imagine this being put together on the studio banks with the time thing to go in and chop this and do that, you know. So they have, someone has messed around with it, but there's a great song in there anyway, and it's got a great catchiness to it. Um, I mean, all the stuff, that, I mean, one thing I will say is, sort of the modern music which I've heard has got this homogenized sound to it. Um, and what they, there's no, this is the problem with a lot of music I've heard. You know, Rick Beato does his top 10 tunes and plays them, and they're all dross. And one of the things he points out, which, you know, I have to agree with, is there's no, no such thing, there's no space in any of them. There's no pre-chorus or anything fancy like that. You know, it's got to be like chorus straight away, then verse, which is throwaway, then chorus, then another chorus. And that, you know, whereas this, you know, it, it, this did have a proper, you know, it had a pre-chorus. There was space in it as well. 
I mean, they did push the buttons for building the beats up and the oohs, you know, and all that sort of thing. But I found myself smiling and liking it and, you know, and feeling slightly ashamed. I mean, the strings were great as well in there. And there's some weird synths on the chorus as well. Um, it was a huge bag of tricks. Um, but there was that space as well for you to sort of enjoy it. And the, the beats come crashing down. Um, even the sort of muffled vocals part, you know, before they build it back up and all these sort of mm. things, you know. Um, but there's a great sort of screaming guitar in there that was hidden away in the mix and it came through towards the end, um, which I really liked. And um, it sounded as almost looped or whatever, but I don't know. But yeah, on the whole, I shouldn't like it, but I did. So thanks. <laughs> thanks so much for that. Oh. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad they're. I was expecting. The envelope here. I was expecting four four tuneless wonders from the student union with a couple of you know super fuzz muff boxes and all this. Like one, two, three, four. <laughs> the snuts. And instead, there's this highly polished. You know. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's good to be, you know, you know, have your expectations, you know, over, you know, turned on their heads. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I didn't know what I was getting into when I first heard about these guys, but um, I saw some positive stuff out there from some pretty reputable outlets. And I was like, all right, well, I, I'm going to give these guys a listen. Um, and I just love them. I'd love their sound. It's, you know, it's very catchy, um, upbeat. Uh, some of their playful, very playful. Yeah, it is playful. And there's like some, I don't know, whimsical charm to these four yeah, young yeah. dudes kind of doing their thing. And um, I don't know. I just connected with it. I really like it. It always puts me in a good spot. Um, you know, it's a good getting stuff done music because I'm, I'm walking around smiling. Uh, and yeah, they're, um, as the name would probably suggest, because uh, it sounds like right out of the UK, they are a UK act um they're yeah they're 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 scottish um and this is their i believe this is their first album like they've done like an ep but i believe this is their actual first album um and it's called wl um and the this was i think maybe the first single released off that i'm not 100 percent sure on that but uh it just came out in 2021 so it's like you said, it's very modern, as you can tell by the the, the production value and everything. Uh, but I just I just like what they what they're bringing to the table. It's refreshing to me. Um, so I will say this: um, two things. One, if they're from Scotland, snuts is is a colloquialism, and I you can yeah, what you're thinking of is probably what it refers to. Um, secondly, I mean, that's definitely Scottish slang, snuts. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I don't know, but that's my... Bet. And secondly, if this is their first effort, I yeah, mean, you wouldn't have thought they would have had a lot of backing. So someone, somewhere, is a production genius because mm. that is a really good effort. You know, this is as polished as anything from someone major. So that is impressive in itself as well. Yeah, there's this blurb that says since the release of the of live favorite Juan Belmonte or Juan Belmonte uh, in 2019, the Snuts have been garnering a massive following in the UK, earning praise from BBC uh, Six Music, Radio One, Radio X, Absolute Radio, NME, Independent, Clash, Notion, Far Out Magazine, and Dork Magazine. Um, the band's debut mixtape EP. Uh, uh, reached number one in Scottish and vinyl album charts and number 14 in the UK um, official charts. So they're young, they're getting stuff done, they're getting notoriety. They've recorded with uh, Karen O da and Danger Mouse, which we've talked about recently. So um, yeah, they're getting, not only are they getting attention, but it sounds like they're getting the right attention and from the right folks that can kind of help them yeah. along. And yeah, for a first for a first full length album, I've liked what I've heard off of it and it's, and it's pretty cool. Um, so just thought I would throw it at you and see what you thought of what was coming out of, of the UK um, in a kind of an ironic twist, but uh, I'm glad that you, that you gave it a chance and that you didn't completely uh, <laughs> kill me on the, uh, on oh, this. Oh, that's the same. 
I, I did like it, you know, despite myself. Um, it's, <laughs> Learning new it's, things about yourself every day. <laughs> oh, man. That's another Aaron confession tonight. Yeah. <laughs> every day is a school day john for all of us so that's awesome well i'm glad i'm glad you gave it a shot i'm glad you came around to it that's really cool um if anybody out there in the audience has heard of the stunts or has uh any anecdotes they want to drop please hit up the comments field below um that being said thank you so much for tuning in feel free to like share and subscribe uh and john thank you sir and we'll see all of y'all on the next episode of into the music see ya